Hello everyone, welcome back to the Psychedelic Art Exchange YouTube channel. We hope you had a great Halloween and uh, we just wanted to drop in with a little post-Halloween uh, non-auction related video where we're going to talk about, you know, a brand new poster, a little bit about uh, what, what Glenn here got up to on Halloween and we're just going to talk about live music because it's our favorite thing and a little bit about our hometown of Baltimore. Um, so take it away. Well, yes. Uh, happy post Halloween. <laughs> and so in Baltimore, Maryland, my hometown last night, uh, there was an incredible concert. It was at the, the CFG arena, which I will only refer to as the Baltimore civic <laughs> center here to forth because it was a place where I saw many shows over the years, probably. The first was like Clapton or Dylan in 78 and, you know, then multiple dead shows. My brothers actually saw the Beatles there. So oh. this is, yeah, this is downtown Baltimore. This is, it was a minor league hockey arena. The Baltimore Bullets before they became the Washington Bullets and whatever played there. And it's just been, you know, the home for a lot of great concerts over the years. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple years ago, they renovated it, and it sounds much better than it ever did before. But Love that. anyhow, so last night was this show by Billy Strings. Those of you who aren't familiar mm. with Billy Strings, he is the guy that has taken bluegrass music uh to a level that has, you know, brought in a wide, oh God, audience. I mean, it's really quite amazing. And the whole yeah. spirit of the Grateful Dead and the psychedelic rock and all the things that we talk about, this guy is carrying it forward. It was he's really an immensely talented individual. But for Halloween last night, the theme was, oh brother, where art thou? This was... <laughs> And I mean, those of you not familiar with the film, it was a Cone Brothers film that was just, it's, it's a beautiful thing. I don't wanna, you know, go on too much about it, but the soundtrack, the music was done by T-Bone Burnett. And- That's so good. It's, and it's, and yeah. T-Bone Burnett was on stage last night. He came on and that was, that blew me away. There were <laughs> guests, guests all over the place, but this, it was a theatrical, brilliance it was they morphed in and out of the whole brother where art thou theme with all of this acrobatics and and actors and costumes and it was just a really it was, it was i wasn't there so i'm hearing all this for the yeah, first time. yeah it was it was a, some of the best music i've seen in a long time and super fun yeah and and I mean, probably the biggest treat was that our local guitar hero, Chris Jacobs, was on stage in costume, kill it, <laughs> killing it with Billy. I mean, take the money and run before the encore. They just it just ripped it. Jerry Douglas was <sighs> playing Dobro. It was. Yeah. Again, this is what keeps me going. I mean, you know, the, all of this poster thing comes from the music, but. Anyhow, so chat about the yeah, poster for, for, for a second. So I was not even, you know, hunting posters. The new poster game is not something that I have the energy for. I like to show up at a show and take a seat and enjoy the music. But at break, I ended up uh, in this lounge area that I had not known about. First of all, yeah, I, I, it was <laughs> something I'd never seen. And all over the walls were these giant reproductions of posters that had been shows at the Civic Center, Globe posters. I mean, it's. It, I'll do. Uh, we'll a, get more into a, that. Yeah, 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 point. yeah. But, but anyhow. So, and then I found the merch table, and I just, you know, I bought the event poster that was apparently it's a big. Beautiful. Yeah, it's a nice foil piece. I don't know if the plexiglass uh, distorts it too much. Um, but this is. It's really a lovely. It's like a, it's a split fountain foil poster. And it's really, really wonderful. I mean, this, uh, uh, what, what's the artist's name? Hold on, it's Logan. Logan Fox. Logan Fox, who I've, you know, I've seen some of his stuff and 
it just is it really takes me to the whole texas yeah armadillo thing you referenced stuff. michael priest as a and i see that yeah for sure yeah it's got a lot of that i mean that texas thing was brilliant a whole nother poster movement that you know again another blog but anyhow this poster is lovely i you know so i went for the big shiny object and <laughs> it was first uh, time that's happened i'm sure once or twice i still you know it's 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 i you know and i got a shirt and swag i got all sucked into it i've always been the swag swag <laughs> but but um that this event was in baltimore was just super sweet and you know billy's been on the rise for the past i don't know how many years we saw him at del fest how long ago five yeah. six Oh, no, it's been a little longer. I mean, I've been seeing him for like eight years now, but he, he really has skyrocketed in the last like three or four years. Yes. And he's really smart and brilliant and um, and reverent to the roots music. I mean, if you're familiar with Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? It sort mm -hmm. of encompasses all of that, you know, roots music. It, 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 see the film. But and, yeah. And there's got to be YouTubes out there of some of the stuff because it really was. I'm sure there was are. Something, yeah. And there's another show tonight and who knows what that'll yield. But, you know, Baltimore Civic Center was the home for all the shows during the 60s. The big shows. Hendrix played mm -hmm. there. The Doors played there. Mm -hmm. It And these posters are hard to find, especially the Globes. They were cardboard posters. They disintegrated. This is something that is a whole chapter of study that I want to dig into. The posters yeah. of Baltimore, um, you know, Meriwether Post, the Beagleys, all of this stuff. It's a really rich pocket and it's in my backyard and we need to report on this more often. But, uh, you know, it was a bluegrass show. It was theater. It was psychedelic rock. It was... It, they went deep. They went into that Grateful Dead jazz, jazz that that Phil brought to the. All right, so I guess we, you know, we 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 can't leave without giving a moment to you know Phil, who, you know, it, it's yeah. Jerry was the melody. Jerry was the voice. Jerry, you know, but Phil was the guy that like set the backdrop he was classically trained he was a jazz he dug coltrane he was a jazz he brought all of that to rock and roll and you know as far as collectibles go i do have this one piece here um that i dug out the other day i don't this is probably one of the most um scarce grateful dead related albums there was this is sea stones this was done on rounder records the grateful dead label in 70 71 it's it's phil and ned lag and 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 the dead's on it you know grace slick it's it is the it's electronic it's experiment it's it's where space came out of it's it's sure. just it is that whole eep hour wildness this thing is a gem um, wow that's so yeah. cool <laughs> yeah and 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 phil you know just I mean, he kept going for us so long. He really yeah. was a gift. And, you know, the fact that this thing is still going, that it's being carried on by guys like Billy Strings, it's just, it's a real joy to still be able to do this and yeah. tap into that. So, yeah, I mean, we, you know, it's been a week since, uh, since we lost Phil and I'm, you know, it's, it's, caused a lot of reflection and just you know i'm sure you've dug into your collection a little bit more than usual yeah. um and my you know. memories and my memories yeah. and it and you got to i mean we we went to to gd50 and so you yeah you got it he uh, i've seen was, him a handful of times but he was just a brilliant irreverent funny wonderful man and i'm so grateful to be able to spend time on this planet with him so go phil yeah well 
on that note, I mean, there's so much more that we can say about any of this, but we, we just wanted to drop in and make a, you know, a little different of a video, you know, not, not so focused on stuff that we're selling, but just sort of chat with you about music and posters and just, you know, as you said, the stuff that keeps you going. Um, yeah. so thank you so much for joining us. Uh, give us a like, drop us a comment, let us know what you think and what you want from us in the future. And uh, we are grateful to have you here. Yeah, support live music. Tip your bartenders. <laughs> we'll see you soon.